Well, let me ask you about this, since you'd mentioned it. It, to me, is the other most dramatic part about Betty Ford's uh, time in the White House. Women who were diagnosed with breast cancer often kept it quiet, didn't want any attention. It was almost an embarrassment to them, and of course, a critical, often fatal diagnosis. Your mother had just stepped into the national spotlight, and she decided that she could help women by treating this as publicly as she did. Can you talk us up to us about that so early in the administration? Yeah, it was an interesting discussion um, because she talked to all of us as a fam as, as the family and said, you know, how do you all feel about this? And we're like, it's fine. You know, that's not a big deal. It, it, you know, it wasn't a big deal to us as family members. And then when we started reading all of the material of the women who had literally been hiding in closets and hadn't undressed in front of their husbands for years and, and women dying of this disease, and she didn't choose to go public because it was going to give her fame or, or attention or anything like that. She did it because she wanted it for women and for families and that sort of thing and to get it out of the closet so that people would learn about it. And as you well remember, I mean, the women who went in for mammograms and the lines to get treated was off the charts. I mean, it's the best thing that could have ever happened to women and breast cancer. And she truly changed that and saved millions and millions of lives. 